There are two charts given to us in this question set. The first chart shows the per capita availability of tea in grams in a country called Chai Desh. To understand this, look at the data for the year 1999. That's given as 566. So it means that 566 grams of tea is available to every individual of Chai Desh in 1999. The per capita availability for a particular year is calculated by dividing the total availability of tea by the total population of the country in that particular year. Now let's look at the second chart. It shows the production and export values of tea for Chai Desh for these 5 years. These values are in million kg. For example, if we look at the data for 1995, which has 421 written on it, means that that's the total production of tea in Chai Desh in the year 1995. So that's 421 million kg. And out of this, the smaller bar, 207 million kilograms, has been exported. Now from this data, the total availability of tea in Chai Desh in the year 1995 can also be calculated. Obviously, it has to be the production minus the export, which in this case would be 421 minus 207, which gives us 214 million kg. So it basically means that in the year 1995, 214 million kg was available for domestic consumption in Chai Desh. Let's go to the questions now. Question number 1 is asking us the year in which the export of tea from Chai Desh as a percentage of the tea produced is the highest. We will have to look at the second graph for this. For 1996, the production is 561 and the export is 189. So export as a percentage of production would be 189 upon 561. So that's the number that we are looking at. We'll need to write these ratio for all the four years and then see which one of them is the highest. 1997, production 587 and export 209. 1998, production 645 and export 215. 1999, production 660 and export 220. So now we have got these four ratios in front of us. We need to find out which of the four is the highest. Now we'll use a trick here. You need to find out the highest of these four ratios. If we reverse these four numbers, then our answer would be the lowest of the four values, obviously. We do this at times to make the calculations easier. So 189 upon 561 becomes 561 upon 189. The second becomes 587 upon 209. The third becomes 645 upon 215. And the last becomes 660 upon 220. Earlier we had to find the highest one. Now we need to find the lowest to give us our answer. Look at the first one. 189 into 3 is 567. 10% of 189 is approximately 20. So 189 into 2.9 would be 567 minus 20 approximately equal to 547. Now 561 is greater than 547. So we can say that this number is greater than 2.9. Look at the second one. 209 into 3 is 627. 10% of 209 is approximately 20 again. And so 20% would be approximately 40. Now 209 into 2.8 would approximately be equal to 627 minus 40, which is approximately equal to 587. So we can say that this number is approximately equal to 2.8. You must have realized by now why we reversed these fractions. It's always easier to deal with the improper fractions while dividing as compared to the proper fractions. Let's go to the third one. It's a simple one. 215 into 3 is 645. So it's 3.0. And the last one is also exactly 3.0. We had to find the smallest of these four and it's very obvious now that our answer would be option 2. Now let's go to question number 2. We have to find out in which year was the population of Chai Desh the lowest, 95, 96, 97 or 99. Now to calculate the population, we'll need to use the two graphs together. 
the population can be calculated like this total availability of tea upon per capita availability per capita availability is given in the first graph and we would calculate the total availability from the second graph let's try doing it for the year 1995 the production is 421 and the export is 207 so the total availability is 214 Now look at the first graph the year 1995 the per capita availability is 487 so the population would be 214 divided by 487 please remember that this is not the exact population but since we don't need to calculate the exact population and just need to find out which was the year in which the population was the lowest we just need to compare the ratios and don't need to bother about the units here Let's move forward to 1996. Availability is 372, and so the ratio would be 372 by 464. 1997. Availability is 378, and the ratio would be 378 by 510. And finally, 1999. Availability is 440, and the ratio would be 440 divided by 566. So now we have got the four numbers in front of us. we need to find out which of the four is the lowest in this case again we can do it by observation without calculating the actual numbers look at option 1 1995 the number is 214 by 487 can we say that 214 is less than the half of 487 yes it is so just write it like this less than 1 by 2 look at option 2 372 and 464 Can we say that 372 is more than the half of 464? Yes, it is. So it's greater than 1 by 2. Option 3, 378 and 510. It's again greater than 1 by 2. And the last option, 440 divided by 566. It's again greater than 1 by 2. So we can say that the first number is less than 0.5, while the rest three are all more than 0.5. It means that it's obvious. that the answer has to be option 1 it is the lowest value among the four let's see question 3 now it tells us that the area under tea cultivation continuously decreased in the four years from 1996 to 99 by 10% 7% 4% and 1% we need to find out the year in which the productivity was the highest productivity would be production per unit of area so this is the part of the graph that we are looking at Look at the production numbers. 1996, it's 561. 1997, it's 587. 1998, it's 645. 1999, it's 660. So we can say that the production is increasing continually from 1996 to 1999, and the question tells us that the area under tea cultivation is decreasing continually from 96 to 99. So the area under tea cultivation is decreasing from 96 to 99 yet the production is increasing from 96 to 99 it has to mean just one thing that the productivity is also increasing from 1996 to 1999 so without calculating anything we can say that the highest productivity was in the year 1999 and so our answer would be option 1